Uh, we've seen some huge scores thrown down. And you know what? The judges up there, up and down on the scale, different places here and there for, for our different maneuvers. This heat right here, a huge one Round for three. Jorgen Kuznet. He has to make it through this heat to better his scoreline on the champion or to get to the championship tour. Numbers all counting in, everything, you know, all these numbers, all these surfers have results going through the year. Would love to be on tour. Out behind him, Wiggly. Well, he's got a pact with uh, Michael February, who's sitting at 11th. Michael's got some work to do now, but Wiggly Dantas is not going to make it easy for Jorgen Cousinet. And this is going to be, you know, this is kind of like a heat he would see. There, there are not four-man heats on the championship tour, but Wiggly's outside the bubble right now, and he has got to perform a pipeline in order to make it. But surfing like this, a couple of snaps on the backhand, you know, he could get himself somewhere down the line here in the QS on these two 10,000s. Um, did you ride something that was a little bit bigger or more pulled in than the previous heats? Oh yeah, I rode a 6'2". On the first days I was riding a 5'10". <laughs> it was really small, so today's way bigger. I surfed on my board like first time this morning. It was, it felt good, but I didn't get the bigger waves, but I knew like in the heat I would get bigger waves, so 6'2", and it was really good, Eric Arakawa. And, yeah, I just want to say thanks to Eric, too. <laughs> a lot of the servers here riding uh, local shapers boards. We saw Pang, Eric Awakawa. So keep the, keep the roll going, Victor, and we'll see you in the next round. Back to you guys. Jeez, and behind that interview, you go, Pupo. They're in this, this heat. They're all but fighting right now for qualification. Wiggly Dantes sitting 24th on the WCT. A couple of nice backhand snaps right there so he's got to get inside the top 20. We go Pupo 23rd on the WCT so he's got to do well at Pipeline as well. He's down at I think like 34th on the QS so he knows the QS grind pretty well. Eric, I see it almost a, a next level of urgency and Wiggly Dantes 24th of course the points here at the Hawaiian Pro don't equate to points there on the championship tour but even winning one Ricardo Christie, he needs he needs this finish. But the confidence that you get from surfing in these two events, if you do well and get a warm up, good luck. Wiggly Dantes now. His backhand is absolutely brutal. Three blistering Ooh. turns. Mincemeat was made of that wave here at Oliva. He's been training a lot. Very few people in the world that can throw spray like Wiggly Dantas. He just hits it, the nail right on the head every time. It's crazy. Just buckets. So great surfing right there. A little fin release off the back of that. So two really solid turns and finishes with some aggression on the inside corner. Pushing water right there. Just strong legs. It's the, it's the perfect mix of power and precision. Wiggly Dantas, we see a quick look at Jorgen Kuzene. Sitting down at number 12, drops in, finds himself a nice wave. Look at that wave. Kind of mistimes the setup snap and then hits that one a little late too. Out of rhythm on that wave. If he could have found the rhythm, he could have really done some damage on this wave. So does a little setup snap, then comes up into the bowl and he hits it, his best wave, but speed dive. That was not pretty. Dantas again. Brother. Massive backside hook for Wiggly. And so this is a, a great kind of juxtaposition of somebody who is absolutely turned on. He could flip this thing. Here's a look at Wiggly's last wave. Love this first turn. Jams it right up into the corner, pushes water, pivots on the front foot, then finds the inside connection, slams it home. He'll better that four for sure. Possibly even the 533. So just on the money. And you see how hard he pushes and then pushes on the front foot to release the fins right at the end. So it's just weight ratio right there. Great work. Credo Christie trying to fight back, setting it up. Could have a good clean line in front of him. Goes up the lip and just mistimed. Final turn, pretty good. So hopefully that will help build a little bit of momentum for Ricardo Christie. We've got our top 22 CT surfers entering the arena. Ricardo Christie in 
fourth place right now, but definitely showing no signs of quit. This wave right here put him into that kind of feeling of getting the momentum back as he sets up a little cutty back into the corner where the wave stands up and then throws it up into the lip. A lot of in-between surfing there, but let's see the slow-mo times it really well. Releases a little fin, comes down with it into the impact zone. Miguel Pupo fading left, cranking it on the bottom turn, going right up into the lip. Big foamy face. Nice finishing snap for Miguel Pupo, who's in fourth place the free surf contest over Everywhere, here on the North Shore. Right? Here he is, nice quick turn up into the bowl. Three turns right there for a great finish on the inside. That kind of finish will fire you up and the judges. Wiggly Dantes, watch out. Bam, huge first snap for Wiggly Dantes trying to get back on the open face. That was just nihilistic surfing. So gets a great entry into this wave, able to set it up in that section, just perfectly ribbed out in front of him. You saw the rib coming up and he just nailed it on time, in line. Just perfect execution and then came around for that closeout turn. Here's the, the view I wanted to see. See the rib going across the wave and he perfectly timed hitting the lip right in the rib and the lip as it was throwing over. Spray everywhere. It's still falling in the background and he's going into his bottom turn. If Beautiful the spray is still right falling when you're doing a bottom turn, you've just done something incredible. Yeah, and then just gets a click off the inside right there. But nonetheless, he's in that 14 point range, which is gonna get you through the heat. Still in the lead. Well, this guy needs a result here to better his throwaway score, and that's not gonna help him clean things up a little bit. Well, here's a replay. See, here's that same rib. Hits it perfectly, comes around the corner, and then tries to hit the rib again, but he went over the back of the rib, and that's why he fell. So hit the rib perfectly right at the apex of it there. And then this turn, he tries to do the same thing, but see, he's just on the back side of it. You see how he almost aired off of it? And he wanted to turn down into that. Mitch Culver checking in. Here we go. Ricardo Christie trying to fight from fourth place. Nice opening snap with the quickness. Straight off the bottom, back onto the open face. Nice car for Ricardo Christie. A solid one, two, three punch. You know, he gets around this section right here, and he's got all that speed, and he just comes up for a nice little track in the lip, and then comes around, sweeps it again, and then gets another one on the inside right here. So, love how he powers through those turns. Little face power cars, and he got a nice in the lip maneuver as well. Live action, Miguel Pupo. Big backside snap. Straight back into the lip. Somehow manages to stay on his feet with a late hit right on the toilet bowl. Now the Goofy Foots have got their number as Wiggly throws a quick snap off the top and then throws it up with a lumpy lip line and comes down. Pretty clean surfing at a high level out here. So we'll get to see him in the next heat. But right now, let's watch Wiggly. Wiggly Dantes, another vertical power hook for Wiggly. Straight off the bottom, that bottom turn is a thing of brutal beauty. And you see the power base with Wiggly's surfing going to solidify that second place position. Wiggly replay. One quick top turn, the next one a little missed time, then goes for the little air three off the end of it, but doesn't come down with it. Go, Pupo. This sheer determination, super consistent. Gabriel makes the final. Gabriel could win. It's all going down at WSLTitleRace.com. And in that last heat, this was a QS super battle. Wiggly Dantes takes the win. Miguel Pupo in second. Ricardo Christie drops out, along with Jorgen Cousinet.